you stand at the foot of the arch and look up at that stainless steel sculpture, it's kind of awe-inspiring. Matter of fact, it, it kind of takes your breath away. Going up to the top when I was a little kid and feeling the, the arch sway a little bit, certainly that, that feeling is one that will stay with you the rest of your life. It's the centerpiece of, of St. Louis. It symbolizes the westward expansion of the United States. It really also is a symbol of technology and that can-do American attitude. The Gateway Arch is one of the most famous landmarks in America. People come to admire its beauty, maybe snap a photo. But now, the visitor experience is so much more than that, diving into the rich history of St. Louis. The NECA IBEW Powering America team has upgrades everywhere, from the tram to the renovated museum, telling the story of the city that's the gateway to the West. In this new museum, you explore about 251 years of St. Louis history, from St. Louis's colonial village settled by the French to the Industrial Revolution at the turn of the century. The project included six NECA contractors, and more than a hundred skilled electricians from IBEW Local One. There's so much that you see that's beautiful, but what you don't see is all the hard work that we put into getting the electric to where it needed to go. After working here for several years, I started thinking about how cool it's gonna be when we get finished to be able to bring my kids here one day and just show them some of the parts and pieces that I was part of. We utilize LED lighting throughout both projects. In the museum space, you'll see a tube ceiling. The LED light fixtures are actually integral inside the tubes, and you cannot detect where the light fixtures are at that tube ceiling. We do a lot of museum spaces. They don't want to see the electrical work, which is contrary to what you see on typical projects. I was on the Arch Project for a year and a half. The first day I walked onto it, it was just a massive undertaking. A lot of my tasks involved making sure all this underground conduit was good and usable. Somebody had to lay out what the future wiremen or apprentices that are gonna come behind me and pull wire into it. Make sure we have point A to point B. Make sure that all these systems that were put in underground are gonna work. When I arrived on the job, the job was still under the demolition phase. So there was a lot of things we had to make sure we're de-energized, safe to work on and demo out. After the demo stage, I started doing all the piping underground in the existing museum that was built in 1967. So my task was to put the pipes in the concrete to feed the displays, the exhibits, the lighting. In addition to the museum, a complete overhaul of the tram, which was built in 1967. The task to renew the ride for the 21st century to make it safer and more enjoyable for the up to 6,000 people who ride the tram to the top of the arch every day. And without changing a thing about the original pods. What we did was replace the old DC motor systems with an AC motor system, replaced all of the controls, and upgraded all of the safety features as well. We literally had IBEW members hanging from the inside of the legs of the arch in order to replace the VFD cable. So that requires a lot of experience, a lot of safety training. You can't afford to make a mistake. We have a tremendous cooperative relationship with Local Union Number 1 of the IBEW. We take our partnership very seriously. We work at it. We make sure that we solve our problems together. The respect that we have for one another on any project makes the project a great project and, and uh, makes the job run smooth. IBEW and NECA contractors really went all out designing this museum thinking about how people of all ages would interact with the exhibits and how the mood would be set. It's very important to have a really well-qualified, well-trained workforce. Our partnership with the IBEW allows us to take on a project like that with confidence. 
And there's no doubt that thanks to that partnership, the Arch and Museum will be used to learn and enjoy for generations to come. It's just something to be really proud of. I'm proud, absolutely proud. I, I, I talk it up all the time. You need to go down and see it. I mean, it's something. I would say a large sense of pride to say you're a part of it, to be able to show it off, to be able to talk about it to your friends, family. It's a beautiful museum and arch, and I think it was really cool for him to be a part of this. All the electricity he did was a lot of work, probably. And one day, I'll be able to tell my kids that my, their grandpa is a part of it. For ETV in St. Louis, I'm Erica McClarity.